Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you guys how you can also save a thousand bucks by modifying your existing trim piece that goes on the roof right there. That trim piece, which is known to be 500 bucks a piece per side uh, for the for the E46 models, and I found a way for twenty dollars how you can um, buy gasketing to fix the issue that is very common with the crusty and crumbly. Um, gaskets that are on these moldings so without uh, further ado let's get into the video and kind of go over the step-by-step -step process of what needs to be done today we're going to be modifying as i promised the trim piece and adding a new uh, gasket onto the original trim piece without having to replace the whole thing so this is a way for us to save some money without having to spend a thousand bucks to get one of these new trim pieces for the car so I'm um, going to show you what it looks like. It's exactly this trim piece. Mine was painted gloss black to give it a nicer look. And since the car is at the paint shop, I wanted to redo this gasket, which is not the original one. Again, since the one that I bought was slightly too small and was causing it not to work so it wasn't looking perfect and I ended up finding on Amazon the perfect gasket to fit onto here and make it look okay. I'll show you guys and I'll leave the links down in the description for the two gaskets um, which should help you do the same job so we're gonna take this old gasket off that I put on here which was fine from here all the way up to around here it was completely fine but it was um, the way I put it in it wasn't long enough since I squeezed it into here, it wasn't long enough to cover this hole up. So um, we're gonna take it off, install the bigger gasket, which I'll show you right now, and it should uh, solve the problem. So these are the two new gaskets that I'm looking at um, using for this project. This one is a Z-shaped gasket, which has a 3M double-sided tape on one side, and then that lip. So I'm thinking, of because the original the way the original uh, gasket looks kind of has like that z-shaped look right here and then down there it also has one but it's a lot bigger so for that i'm planning to use this um, gasket it is a little tougher than the old one but it is also bigger and this is like foam filled but it's a thicker foam that's why it's a little tougher, but I think it should be good enough to install. And we can see how it looks on the car. In comparison, this is the other one I used, and it wasn't big enough. This was like a 0.5 uh, inch diameter for the D, or the height, so it wasn't quite enough. Now that we're starting this, we want to clean the surface where the gaskets are going to be um, adhering to. So what we're going to do, or I already done it, but clean it with isopropyl alcohol and then get to work. I'm taking off the 3M tape from one edge. Then I'll simply apply it to the inner edge of this molding trim. So honestly, I think we don't even need to use this thicker uh, gasketing and I'll compare it to the one that we uh, used to have but this looks a lot better and it does look like it goes out more so this looks a lot better and I'm I think that this s-shaped or z-shaped um, molding piece or gasket should work a lot better for our application so it should be touching the ch uh, chassis not leaving a huge gap now we're going to finish applying this z-shaped gasket to the rest of the trim piece so the trim piece molding is on installed on the car and now i can show you guys how it looks while it's installed the only point of worry which i had was this area right here since the old gasket had um spacing here and it didn't look nice, so it didn't tuck underneath the window. But as you can see with this new Z-shaped molding, it's tucking very nicely under the window. No gaps right there. Looks like it did when it was brand new in OEM. So we made that look nice and clean. And you can kind of tell all the other lines look exactly the same. So um, I definitely recommend this product. The link is in the description if you're also planning on doing this uh, 
molding on your car and you want to save a thousand bucks you can do that by buying I think it's a twenty dollar um, gasket and you don't need as much as I did as I bought because uh, you only have to install it from about right here down and if you're doing the original you'll have the exact measurements of where you have to trim the new gasket I'll just get it a little close up for you guys and show you how it looks but overall super satisfied with the look of the trim piece painted gloss black and with the new gasket installed it makes the car look very fresh and brand new all right that's it for today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe i hope this helps you with your modification saves you a lot of money um, doing this let me know how your guys's uh, projects turn out if you end up doing this um, molding and like always i'll catch you guys in the next one